Hey, what's up guys? This is Ton Ton here and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a brand new kingdom figures to show you. And so this might be the last fossilizer we will ever get. And I'm quite excited for this one over here. So today my review is going to be about the Transformer War Force Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom Deluxe Class Wingfinger, the one and only fossilizer that is from the Maximo instead of a Predacon. So let's begin. So here we have Wingfingers. This might be a new character, which is really interesting. The first appearance of me about this guy will be the colors. As we have seen with the other three fossilizer before, we have fossilizer Paleotrex. Then we have Vertebrate and then we have Raptor Knight. So they all have somewhat of a dark color scheme. But for Wing Fingers here, we have a really light tone of colors. This is mostly yellow and white, the white, the bone whitish. And to be honest with you, this color tone makes me feel like he is a reconstructed fossil that got displaced in the museum rather than, than freshly dig like Raptor Knight or recently died like Vertebrick and that is really interesting the color tone is here is really nice and for some special colors painted on to this guy we got first is the face sculpt and there's nothing too much of a face going on over here we got a purely black face mask with somewhat of a metallic blue paint visor onto it and that would be about it and then we have a Predacon um, a Maximo logos printed onto his forehead, which is really nicely done. That you can see that is bright red. And you got some painted line as for like panel lining purpose, which is really interesting and highlight all the nice detail on the head. And along with the panel line, we got some still got some weathering, like some scratches, and that is really nice over here. And the next thing I want to talk about will be his bicep. You can see that he got a really nice glossy black paint onto it. I enjoy this paint. It highlights the bicep of the figures, making him look stronger because the fact that he got a really short shoulders. And so by having this black piece painted onto him, it makes highlighting the bicep and thus makes him making him a lot more stronger than he looks. Then one in very interesting detail will be his forearms. As you can see, they got the muscular bone looking instead of the like straight lines like we have with paleo tracks and the other figures and he would be the one in the only two fossilizer who got a actual hand and you can see this is a really nice sculpted hand so this hand later become the feet and i mean just look at that they, they, and they even managed to get the feet of the beast mode looks like a brass knuckle in the robot mode and that is one really interesting details over here they're pointy and yeah, you can use them for punching. And that is a really nice detail. I absolutely enjoy this. And moving down to the leg, you have nothing used. It's just like, it's just it, you know? And yeah, the feet of the robot is got a yellowish tone to it. And that is really nice. You got some detail, some line over here, but like I think some panel lining would highlight them up. Back to the torso a little bit. It's kind of hollow because this is a flying dinosaur. So, they have a really small, more skeleton texture. So somewhat of a flat side over here and also, also along with a small chest. And of course you can try to close the head up for some other maskly look. And that would be it. And turn him onto the back. As you can see, you got his two wing tip as a weapon. That is some nice weapon storage. And they attach via a, and that this tab over here. This is the same with the paleo tricks. So you just tap it in. And of course, you still have the whole dinosaur head for the weapon. And I'm gonna remove that for now and show you the details. And so this is the dinosaur head. As you can see, there's a pure black paint inside. The same glossy black paint we've seen with the bicep of the robot. And there's these features. The head can split into two parts. So this is the head. And this one right here can be opened up and reveal a visor. So I think this is going to be an alternate phase or I should say the, the ultimate combining phase of the fossilizer and I cannot wait to make a video about how to combine them. I'm gonna, actually going to play with them too. And when you open the mouth of the beast mode and actually I'm going to Google it. Just give me a second. So this is a Peranodon, a Peranodon figures. And if you open the mouth, you can see that there's this beautiful glossy black paint inside because they're going to highlight 
because like the thing is that the eye scope is hollow so by having this it's just like uh, really nicely done you can see the black cut inside and i just enjoy this i absolutely enjoy this kind of paint and one one fact that because this is very really well hidden the problem of paint scratching would be minimum because as you see all the paint surface on this guy are protected you got this inside and you got the bicep that they are a layer underneath this bone here so like no worries for any paint trip this guy will be paint tripping any time soon and so enough for that now let's get to some size comparison and here we have wing fingers next to paleo tracks and vertebrate and as you can see over here he's on the tall side to this two guy but like he's on the tall and thin side as well so i mean like i i like how they stand next to one another they looks really interesting as for paleo tracks we got the medium sized boy and for wing finger we have the thin boy and for raptor knight we have the thick boy over here which is really interesting really really interesting and so enough for size comparison now let's get to some accessories shall we and so accessory wise we begin with his two sword i was gonna say wing tip darker or wing tip sword so according to the official transformer wikipedia we got so this is a two sword and they are just basic they're nice and i must say that apart from all of this really nice combination weapon of the fossilizers so i enjoy this one the most this is like basic but effective so it can be held in two ways so like either holds in both hands as sword or hold together in one hand as a bow so you're just gonna take this down and tuck this in and if this is a sand arrow i don't know what that is but i guess it is a a bow over here okay so that is will be his first accessories and so the second will be actually it will be the Petaron, Peranodon head so yeah you can, you can try to fit it onto his palm as like a shield or a tonfa or whatever you imagine this is basically a stretch of a weapon so yeah you got that and I, I, I would like to I would like to call this is like a tonfa because of like you swing him gonna swing it and yeah it works to me it works it works like that and so now that is about his accessories now let's get to some articulation so the articulation begins with the head you can look up that far and down that far you can do a full rotation for that arms swing out rotate which is really nice you got a bicep swivel you got a 90 degree elbow bend and this one is also a swivel so this hands here on ball joint so you can move around and move it like that for transformation so he got a full 360 spin on the torso because he's a bone so there's not much troubling him doing that and so this is the split which is really nice and beautiful kick to the front all the way up kick to the back a little bit little bit because of this piece here but if you rotate it around like that then I, you, I guess you can do a little bit more like something like that yeah just basically the same thing you got a thigh swivel that is actually a knee swivel he got a knee swivel because that is the pet and this is the knee band double ba double jointed so yeah that is really nice you unfortunately you don't have any pivot you, you got some movement over here that would be it so like articulation wise this guy is decent i mean like he's a bone so he's basically the same as all, all the other parts forming fossilizer the articulation is superb and one thing that set this guy above the other would be his design because he's so slim and he's so thin so you, you can easily get a lot more poses out of him than the other two which really makes me happy about this guy so and i think now it's time for us to get to his alternate mode so let's begin the transformation
So as you can see, the transformation of this guy is, might be the simplest, the most simple out of the, all of the fossilizer. But I mean, that is the most effective. And what can I say about this alternate mode? Which is the skeleton of a Pteranodon. This is a skeleton of a Pteranodon. So this is a really nice and satisfying recapture of the original material. And I love the way that they're gonna include the heels of the robot mode as the hand, the hand of the beast mode, which is really nice and satisfying. And so yeah, this is a fairly accurate looks for a Pteranodon skeleton. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the fact that he's a really small animal but has a huge mouth and you got some wingspan i mean like the wingspan can be a little bit longer but yeah i'm happy with what they have given us so yeah and the only kind of disturbing things that i feel is that the robot head is actually the beast ass yeah that's quite interesting and you got that opening gimmick and you got that opening like he's pooping this is the same thing that happened with chiro gut blaster over the MP Chiro. So like, I mean like, for some articulation, they have really nailed it by making this figure even able to recreate some poses that got into the, like some like, you know, like the landing pose that they're on the ground or something. And that is like really accurate. And this shot right here is like, it's got inspired from that scene from Jurassic Park 3 when they're in the bird cage, which is by the way, it's a very horrified scene. I, am, I'm, I really hate that as a kid. But that is awesome. And so yeah, I mean like they have done a really great job on this guy. And so now for some size comparison, I'm gonna put him next to Paleotrex and Vertebrate at this standing form. And then I'm gonna do another shot of the wing standing form to, just for you to imagine the size of this guy. So that sums up my review about the Transformer Wolf of Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom Deluxe Class Wing Finger. I mean like this is a really nice end for the whole line. And I, I, I really hope that they're going to continue this somewhere in the near futures. So tell me what you think about this figure in the comment section below. And then subscribe to my channel if you are new. Follow me on Instagram. That is where I do most of my poses and updates. And if you feel like you can, you know, help me out with some future figures, feel free to buy me a coffee. Link will be in the description below. And that will be it for today, guys. Tantan out.